Here is another video I thought I would share with my viewers. Um, and uh, you probably don't know, you're wondering what in the heck's going on here. You can't really see. Of course, if you read the title, you probably got a good idea. We have mitered corners here. And this isn't always going to be easy. And the reason for that is because it's going to be difficult to cut one of the sides of the stringer. So you're going to be able to cut the risers no problem with a circular saw or even a compound miter saw um, or a radial arm saw radial arm saw that's probably something all the viewers the younger ones are like what in the heck is that the compound miter saws seem to have replaced that uh, tool but it's going to be difficult to cut this side here i can see where you can cut this one here this one on this side, if you can just kind of imagine flipping it around to see how you would cut that, uh, it's not, not going to be easy. So I'm just that's going to be your first um, problem there and probably the reason why most of you aren't going to be able to build it. If you don't have a saw that's going to be able to cut the um, miter that is going to be difficult, then uh, you're not going to be able to build something like this. So that's going to be your first step to figure out, figure that out how you can cut the other side of the stringer. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, um, you can start building the stairway. You'll get to a point to where you're going to say, OK, I get it. I, I see how see where the problem is going to be and then compensate accordingly. Um, the uh, what do they say? The test of a true craftsman is their ability to fix their mistakes. So that would be uh, maybe a miter on one side and not on the other side. So here you can see where these stringers here are also set back. And that would make more sense when we put the riser back on. But you can see the front coming here. And then these are going to need to be back. So you're going to have two of the stringers are going to be cut the same if you're using two in the center. Or the center stringers are going to be cut the same. The one on the outside, each one on the outside will be cut differently. And then there are the risers. Depending on what risers you're going to use, two buys or one buys, that would also affect the miter, what you would be doing here. But we're just going with two buys here, two by eight, seven inch, uh, seven and a half inch rise, something like that, and a about an 11 inch step. It kind of gives you an idea here what we're doing. The beam that you could use if you chose to. Um, use this type of a setup. You could nail the stringers into the beam on each side and then nail your fascia board or the edge of the decking, whatever that would be on. Um, it could all nail into the beam and you can always use hardware. You could bolt it together with some angle um, type of some type of angle hardware. Um, also, if you're looking for something a little stronger, you can use hangers for the stringers and of course hangers for the deck joist. And just wanted to give you an idea here. I have the post here ending at the beam. And uh, you can kind of get a better idea here, I think. You can see. And again, this is just for looks. You can move the post a little further back or you can bring it even to the edge of the fascia board or the front of the stringer. And in this one situation here, I just moved it a little bit to give you an idea of what I was talking about. And then you can simply might, I mean, uh, cut a little notch in the post. Um, if you're going to bring it out three quarters of an inch, this would just depend upon what type of finish you were going to put on the um, edge or the end of the deck and the stairs. And of course, coming down, we're going to have to bring our treated wood in a little bit because we're going to notch the bottom of our stringers. And uh, I'll leave that up to you whether you want to do that or you just want to finish it. Uh, you can always just nail the bottom of the stringer into the treated lumber. I just did something here to um, make it a little more trickier. I'll let you figure that out. You can cut that uh, out with a router, I would imagine. And that is about it for this particular design. So again, biggest problem you're going to have here will be cutting the different sized center stringers and the miter that's going to go on one side of the stringer.